happening overseas to Jerusalem now, where Israeli police overnight stormed a disputed site that is revered by Muslims and Jews and fought with Palestinians. That led to other attacks in the region, where all major religions are celebrating important holidays this week. Charlie Daggett has more on the disturbing scenes of violence. <laughs> Cell phone footage appears to show Israeli riot police pummeling worshippers with batons, firing stun grenades and rubber bullets after storming the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Israeli police say they launched the pre-dawn raid after what they called agitators barricaded themselves inside. Releasing this body cam video, they say, shows officers coming under attack from fireworks as they tried to clear the mosque. They attacked us in there, one worshiper shouts. All the young people inside are suffering, and no one is helping them. Israel says more than 350 people were arrested. Palestinians say more than 500 worshipers unlawfully detained. The Al-Aqsa Mosque is not only the third holiest place in Islam, it shares a hilltop with the Temple Mount, the most sacred site in Judaism. And the violence erupted at a sensitive time, on the eve of the Jewish Passover and in the middle of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. It triggered a retaliation from Palestinian Hamas militants in Gaza. Footage showed a number of incoming rockets intercepted by Israel. Israel's Iron Dome defense system. The Israeli Air Force responded with airstrikes on Hamas military sites. And even as they clean up the aftermath of the Al-Aqsa clashes, both sides are bracing for increased tensions as Passover begins tonight. For CBS Mornings, Charlie Daggett, London.